Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Garifuna Fun Fact Friday. I'm so excited for today because we are talking about the heart of Garifuna music, the drums, all right? So today I'm gonna give you a little bit of information about how we make the drum. You're gonna hear the different rhythms that we play with the drums. So let's get right into it. Now, the Garifuna drums, we have two drums. You have the primera and you have the segunda. The primera drum usually has a smaller diameter compared to the segunda drum. The segunda drum has a larger diameter. Now the difference between the two sounds, the primera drum also is, think of it as the percussion. The percussion is, uh, is usually the one that leads the beat. And then we have the segunda, which is more of the bass drum. So it's the consistent sound. It's usually just one sound depending on the rhythm that you're playing, right? So how do we make the drum? Now, the first step is we use, we need to get a log from a piece of a hard wood. So usually it's like mahogany, mayflower, or cedar wood. And what we do is we choose the size of the of the tree or the log according to the size of the drum that we want to make. And the first step is they cut it. They cut it into the shape or the size that they want it to be. And traditionally, they would hollow out the drum by burning it. But today they use um, chainsaws and chisel it, right? So once the inside of the drum is hollowed out, then it is smooth. You sand it, you s and smooth it. So they smooth it out, they drill holes on the bottom of the drum, and that is used to put this rope inside of it, to weave the rope inside of it. We have vines. And so the rope is tied to the top vine that you see over here. And then the skin, it can be deer skin, it can be goat skin, it can be cow skin. The skin is folded on the bottom vine over here. So this rope, it, it keeps everything intact, okay? So you have over here is the skin, and then over here is the top vine. So this rope is used to keep it tight. Lastly, we have these sticks over here, which is used like to, to tune up the drum. So if turn it one way, it loosens the skin. You turn it the opposite way, it tightens the skin. So depending on the sound that the drummer wants to make, he will loosen it or tighten it. So that's how we make the Garifuna drum. I'm grateful to have two of our drummers here today with us so you can hear the difference in the sounds that we play with the drum. So we have Robert and John, two of the most talented drummers here in the community of Punta Gorda, Roatan, and they also are members of our official folkloric dance group, all right? So Robert and John are going to show you guys different rhythms that we play. Okay, so Robert has the primera drum, the percussion, and, and John, he has the segunda drum, or the bass. I'm going to ask you guys to play three different rhythms, okay? So the first one is punta, and then the second one is paranda, the third one is guanaragua, right? So first we're going to hear Robert play the primera drum, and then John is going to play the segunda drum, and then they're going to play together.
have today about the Garifuna drum. I want to thank you guys for joining me, John and, and Robert. And I want to thank all of you for tuning in to Garifuna Fun Fact Friday every Friday. I also want to say thank you to all of our supporters and ask that you continue to support the Cultural Center by sharing, liking, commenting. You can also book a tour through our website and you can also send your donations at garifunacc.com. Your donations help what we're doing here, preserving the culture, um, training our young group, buying uniforms, buying instruments. Don't forget to continue following us on social media at Garifuna Cultural Center on Facebook and Instagram. I will see you next Garifuna Fun Fact Friday. Ayo!